This video is about how to use SIDL. If you haven't already set up the cold build environment and cloned the RGPilot repo, you must do that now. Now that the code environment is in place and MavProxy installed, we can start SIDL. Go to the RGPilot directory, pick the vehicle that you want to sim. We'll do a plane, uh, quad plane exactly, and start a terminal window there. Then we'll explore some of the options of the simulator, which is simvehicle.py. So type help, we'll give you all the options for starting up and using the simulator. Most importantly is the selection of vehicle, but that's not necessary if you start it in a vehicle subdirectory. But very often you have to select the frame for that vehicle. Today we'll use quad plane. If you don't supply a frame type, a default one will be used like normal plane or normal copter. And there are many other options that you can explore at your leisure. So we'll start it up by selecting the quad plane frame and we want it to start up with a console window which is the ground station console window and a map and an OSD. Now it'll start to compile the code for the SIDL vehicle of that type and we'll skip all over that and come to the end. When it's finished compiling, it'll start the simulator and pop up uh, the windows that we requested. Uh, re rearrange the windows. I want to make the OSD window smaller. Move the map window over and the console window over. And then minimize the uh, simulation window. You see the console window has already got the vehicle in ground start back to your main terminal window and now it's running MavProxy ground control station and this is the MavProxy control line. We're in fly-by-wire A mode. Disarmed. Uh, now the AHRS has um, gotten ready as EKF is ready and we can actually start using the vehicle. So first I'll put it into queue loiter to prepare for a takeoff. Arm the throttle with the arm command. At this point, we'll show some of the MAV proxy commands. Uh, I had already used a, a mode switching command by typing queue loiter and the arm command. And there are various other commands. Very useful is the RC command, which allows you to input RC controls. Since the normal throttle is input on channel 3, we want to lift off. We'll raise the throttle above mist stick, type RC3, about 1700, and you'll see that the throttle in the console has started up, and we're starting to climb. And we'll climb up to about 20 meters or so. Get ready to stop by typing RC3 mid stick, which is 1500. And when we reach 20 meters, we'll hit the return key. And it's now loitering at 20 meters. At this point, I'll show you how to change various simulator and vehicle parameters from the command line in MavProxy. Uh, for example, first of all, we'll show all the simulation-based parameters, wind, wind direction, uh, various shoves, um, uh, variations on sensors. Uh, you can simulate failures. In this case, uh, we'll set the wind speed to mm, well, let's see, 4 meters per second. 
So now the simulation's got four meters per second. We're still loitering. Now to show the effects of the wind on that loiter, we'll change to hover. And you can see that the vehicle starts to drift towards the north since the wind was out of the south. And now we'll set a vehicle parameter. Uh, let's change the RTL mode from a normal fixed wing RTL to one at which it will fly fixed wing back and then transition to a QRTL. That's QRTL mode 1. Now we'll transition into fixed wing mode. Type in cruise for mode change. Most mode changes you just type the mode. If there's a conflict in nomenclature, you might have to preface it with M-O-D-E. And now we'll turn while we're cruising. Uh, ailerons are on channel 1, 1300, a left turn. Get set up with RC1, 1500 to stop the turn. It's bringing the aileron stick back to center. And we're straightened out, tracking on course. Of course, you can use guided mode, just like you can in Mission Planner. You can do that in Math Proxy. You go to the map uh, uh, after you've changed into guided mode. This is a there are other guided commands, so you have to use the mode prefix to get it into guided mode. You can go to the map and say fly to this point at this altitude, and off it goes. Map proxy, you can also create and load uh, missions uh, using uh, the drop down box on mission. We'll draw a mission, uh, mission height 100 meters. And you just click, click, left click, left click, left click. And then, when you're finished, right click and it'll draw in the mission, including the RTL shown there. Just change the mode to auto to begin the mission. Off we go. Now I'm going to transition back into VTOL mode. Type Q loiter. Clear some of this clutter off the screen with some character turns. It stopped at Q loiter. Now I'm going to load a pre-existing waypoint file with the WP load command. And execute auto again. Now we'll do an RTL. which should switch to QRTL once we're over home. Within the QRTL radius, rather. And it begins, <coughs> after it gets stable, it'll begin the land sequence. Before you can utilize graphs, you have to load the graphing module into MAV proxy, which I had done previously. The nice features is that you can produce real-time graphs of various internal parameters, uh, servo positions, RC inputs. Um, if you just type graph and then double tab, double tab usually shows uh, what options are available. In this case, we'll go look at servo outputs. We'll go to Graph, uh, Servo Output Raw, and there are uh, many, well, there's 16 sub-channels, 
And again, if you double tap at that point after you type the period, you'll get to see all those options. And then we'll type in uh, to look at a specific servo uh, output. In this case, let's look at servo, which happens to be one of the VTOL motor outputs and um, three, which is the forward motor output. So now we'll switch back into Q loiter mode, arm the vehicle, because at the end of the Q land a portion of the RTL, it disarms the motors automatically. Set the throttle up above mid stick so we start climbing. You see, as soon as we armed, we came up to the min thr uh, spin throttle setting, and when I raised the throttle, <coughs> the motor spun up and started to climb. Now I'll transition into fly-by-wire A and you can see the transition occur. The forward motor throttles up and the VTOL motors spin down because they don't have to provide as much lift. When the transition is over with right here and during after the transition weight, the VTOL motors shut off. So how do you restart the sim from scratch and put it back at home? Well, there's a reboot command, but first you must disarm the vehicle. In this case, we'll just disarm it while it's flying. Doesn't matter, we're going to start over again. Then type reboot, and it will restart some elements like the OSD. But you see, the ground start is started over again in the console. Plain as is at home. Finally, to end the simulation, type Control C and Mav Proxy. That will automatically dismiss all the other child windows. Uh, otherwise, you have to go through an individual.